Many testimonies of people who claim to have been abducted by aliens describe these alien beings as looking like perfect angelic beings with blonde hair and blue eyes, gray frog-like creatures, and reptilians. I don't think it's coincidence that the first original alien to come to Earth from the heavens appeared as a talking reptilian creature, giving New Age doctrines such as you are God and you cannot die. This is the very same message that we hear given by these entities from testimonies of abductees. When they see us worrying about things like death, they find it hilarious. And when they see us like running around like headless chickens, just to create money, just to keep ourselves alive. And they know it's all a big joke because you can't die anyway. And they say even if we did die, you can choose to come back from the death state. Occultist Aleister Crowley was a self-professed wickedest man alive, and he drew a sketch of a demon that would often visit him. This demon introduced himself as Lamb, which is Tibetan for the way, an exact counterfeit of the true Lamb of God who is the way, the truth, and the life. Now, we can clearly see that these entities are not visitors from other planets as they claim to be, but are actually demons seducing the world with doctrines of devils. Many will be deceived and fall away from the faith and give heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, just as Demi Lovato. This idea that these aliens are actually demons in disguise is not just a Christian idea. Jacques Vallée, the author of a book called Messengers of Deception, said this in an interview. In your books, particularly your most recent book, Messengers of Deception, which is many years old, you suggest that UFOs are deliberately trying to manipulate uh, our subconscious mind, to create a mythology in our culture about themselves, which is one of the reasons that they're both physical and concrete, yet very elusive at, at the same time. Uh, do you still feel that way? I think that uh, from my own point of view, I'm going to be very disappointed if UFOs turn out to be nothing more than visitors from another planet, because I think they could be something much more interesting. Something uh, from another dimension of space or time? Uh, here are objects, I think we have to call them objects, that are physical, that interact with the environment, that cause uh, effects on the witnesses, on the psychology and the physiology of the witnesses and leave traces on the ground and yet are capable of, appear to be capable of manipulating time and space in ways that go beyond what our physics understands today. Eddie Bravo on a podcast with Joe Rogan talks about William Cooper, the author of Behold a Pale Horse, and how while working with the military actually believed in aliens and UFOs because he saw them with his own eyes, but then began to wonder if he was being deceived. William Cooper, he wrote uh, Behold a Pale Horse. He wrote that book. He's like probably considered the Helio Gracie of conspiracy theories. William Cooper, he was in charge of putting together the documents for these uh, top secret naval office of naval intelligence meetings he thought they're trying to get us to believe in aliens so they could fake an alien attack so that'll usher in the new world order because what happens if the aliens attack we all unite and all the movies you see them in the movies like oh they're attacking let's call China we're all together we all unite that's the whole purpose of everything William Cooper he was the guy who he was like aliens exist i'm looking at these documents they're having these meetings about this crash he's got his own little his private radio and like and then he's like oh these are setting me up there's this is all he goes they they're setting up a fake alien invasion that's what they're doing okay or could it be manipulated purposely by people who have the technology to uh, simulate ufo sightings and People say, well, of course not. Who would do a thing like that? Well, I would remind you that during Watergate, during the Watergate investigation, it was discovered that there was a plan uh, originated in the White House to uh, surface a submarine off the coast of Cuba and paint the second coming of Christ over the island of Cuba using holograms, oh, yeah. and, which is well within our technology.